let's move on to their next game. Holy Australia, Korea, which holy. I have to say, probably the most entertaining game of the tournament so far. No doubt. What? It was insane. What? We were in a group text and we kept going like back and forth. Because my prediction, like 4-2, was like holding strong until the seventh inning. I was like, oh, it's going to be great. And then it was just like, boom, explosion city, dinger city. Yeah, no, this is, it was incredible. Uh, Aside from the fact that it was an insane baseball game, what ended up the result is we have one of the biggest upsets in WBC history in Australia defeating South Korea 8-7 to un believable what a game what a comeback by korea uh, it looked like you know you kind of th- this game had the feel of the whole time like korea was gonna win right you just felt like they're too too big of a favorite they're gonna win even though australia would take a, a one-run lead here or there and then there was that inning that they broke it open <laughs> the fifth inning breaks it open and then the eighth inning really breaks it open. Uh, Robbie Perkins, the Robbies for the Australia, yeah. for Australia, by the way. Robbie Glendening and Robbie Perkins. Uh, in the eighth inning, they really broke it open. Three run homer. They go up four runs. It was eight to four. And at that moment, yeah, it finally felt like, oh man, there's only six outs left. And Australia is going to win this game. Mm-hmm. But oh, no, no. Nope. Do not, do <laughs> boy, not turn those TVs boy, off. were we foolish. <laughs> Korea, the very next inning, not to any of their, they just kept getting walked. And it was walk after walk, four consecutive walks, bases loaded, nobody out. Korea's back in the game. Korea ends up getting down a run, and then they can't get that big hit. They end up losing the game 8-7. to seven. Australia wins. The fighting kangaroos, the fighting ruse, they defeated Korea 8-7. to seven. What a game. Um, really, really impressive out of Australia, I must say. They, they obviously didn't pitch great there in the eighth, but very impressive stuff. A couple of minor leaguers doing some damage and end up taking down a really good Korea team. I was so impressed. I, I, I had like three different group chats going about this game. Everyone was watching it and every it, this is what you want to see. And this is what make tournaments so much fun is anything can happen when it's one game. Yeah. And it was crazy. <laughs> I mean, this this team Korea team is has guys we all know very well on up the middle. Hassan Kim. Yeah. And Tommy Edmond. And yeah. they're one and two in the lineup. I mean. It's like these guys are, you have major league studs out there Mm -hmm. and gold glove caliber defenders. And then Team Australia is just this ragtag blue collar bunch that their third base coach was my minor league coach in the Detroit Tigers organization for four years. He was my coach there. And I'm just watching him like, one, I know everything you're doing over there. I know your little signs. I know what you're relaying. I know when you're telling everybody to steal. I know what you're doing over Uh there. So that was fun to watch. But also, like, just seeing him out there um, doing his thing against Korea and being able to pull it off, this ragtag blue-collar bunch known as Australia now, um, got the job done against some, some big leaguers and a really solid opponent. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.